Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel again and to my workshop. Um, before I start this video on the final steps on how to make a handle for a knife, um, I just want to ask you guys to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Um, this would help me a lot to make more videos um, and reach more people to help them make knives because this is such a wonderful art. I want to share it to as much people as I possibly can. Um, so today we are going to do um, how to buff the bolster, how to hand sand the handle and how to buff the handle. Um, so I'll show you how to do those three things and to watch out for because um, especially on the buff it is very dangerous. Um, you can get stabbed actually by a knife at about 2000 RPM. So I will show you to watch out um, and what you need to look out for so you don't hurt yourself. This is how the one bolster look after the rough buff polish but as you can see on the bottom side of the knife there's still a few scratches and if that happens you can go to your 600 grit again and just sand them out but this is before this uh, buff and this is after the rough buff okay so um now that i've showed you a few things about how to buff um you have to look out if you have any sharp edges on your knife um especially here uh, um, on the sharp edges of your bolster. Well, if you buff any part of your knife, um, you should look out to not press those sharp edges directly into the direction the buff is spinning. Um, this will grab the buff hairs and it will throw your knife directly at you. Um, and a knife being thrown at you at about 2000 RPM, um, it's not going to go good for you and your knife actually. Um, so be careful with that. And also, if you buff. Uh, make sure to keep the blade or the steel and the handle you're buffing cool um, especially when you're buffing steel um, if you overheat the blade while buffing there will be um, this little holes in your knife um, called pitting and um, you can't get that out um, the only way you can get that out is if you start hand sanding all over again and sanding all over again so you don't want those in your knife so just watch out for the, those two things um, and just take it slow while you're buffing um, it is the finishing step of the knife so you have to have uh, look out for as much detail as possible because after buffing that will be the finished product Product of the knife. Um, so with that I will show you how to hand sand the handle now. Um, so let's get on to it. made this clamp for myself which I can clamp my blades into my vise. You can tighten these knobs and adjust the width and everything you will be sanding. Um, so clamp your knife to something. You can actually clamp it to the table with a normal clamp. Um, I have to, I used to do this for a long time and um, get your sanding paper ready and get yourself a comfortable chair because you're going to be here for a while. Okay, so um, you want to cut yourself a strip of 600 grit paper um, and then you want to start sanding your knife but you since we have already buffed the bolster it is now you need to hand sand the bolster so you only need to sand the part of the handle which did not co come in contact with your disc sander so um the part that came in contact with your disc sander is the part your bolster and also um where you tape it to the back starts the whole front piece before the taper starts to the back is where you do um, the sander came in contact. So that part don't really need a lot of hand sanding, but just go over to get the grain the same way throughout the whole handle. But you want to focus on the back side of your handle where the sander, the 600 grit did not touch. Um, so focus on that part. And when you're done sanding 600 grit, you can go up to a 800 grit, 1000 grit. And I usually go to 1200 grit. Um, before I start buffing the so now that your handle is sanded up to a thousand two hundred grit um, you can start buffing it but first of all we need to tape this the bolsters um, we need to tape it up because the buff soap will make this dirty and this will make the buff wheel dirty okay so now that the knife has been buffed and the bolster has also been buffed the knife is finished basically because 
um, I didn't take do this in this series. I um, did a series on my TikTok channel um, about how to do the buffing on the blade and all that kind of stuff. Um, but this is how the knife looks. The tape is still on. I will show you um, a B-roll of the finished product. Um, so yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching and um, I hope you enjoy your day and please give me a subscribe and like um, and then I have the b-roll of the final footage now.